What can we say? This couple is simply the best. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 David and Patrick moments on Schitt's Creek. You know, maybe we can negotiate down the line at some point. Hmm. For this list, we're looking at the landmark relationship moments between David Rose and Patrick Brewer. That means that moments that were more about each character as an individual, even if they were there to support each other, will not be included. David is my boyfriend, and I've never been happier in my life. And so I just, I hope you guys can accept that. Also, if you're not up to date, please consider this your spoiler alert. Number 10, their first meeting and the aftermath. David. David Rose, you bought the general store. Least, least the general store, yeah. If you can see the smirk on Patrick's face in this scene without squealing about what's to come for these two, you are stronger than us. Aside from Stevie, Patrick is one of the first characters David encounters in Schitt's Creek that challenges him. And that was evident from day one of their relationship. David is trying to incorporate his business, but has some trouble articulating his plans. But it's more like, more like a branded, immersive experience. Right, I love the buzzwords, David, but I, I do need to put something down here. Okay, you couldn't use anything I just said. He leaves the meeting in a defensive huff, and yada yada yada, there may be some unfortunate chemically induced voicemails as a result. Okay, ciao. Ciao. I said ciao to that person. Hi, Patrick. Yeah, I think I, I, think I called you David. Which, that's not, that's not your name. But the best part is that fortunately, Patrick seems to speak David's language and completes his business plan for him. The first of many times these two manage to work together effortlessly. It's a good idea. Your business, rebranding local products and crafts, it's very inventive. Thanks. Number nine, Patrick's investment offer. Patrick stops by Rose Apothecary and somehow manages to resist Alexis flirtatiously bossing him around long enough to hand deliver David's framed business license. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, actually, they uh, they all come framed. Okay, thank God. Because um, I was just thinking that this frame is a little too corporate um, for my brand. But as it turns out, Patrick isn't just there to drop off the license. Okay, yes, there is a very clear vibe going on, which, thank goodness, Alexis sees from a mile away. He's a business major that wears straight-legged mid-range denim. He's not into me. But actually, Patrick sees the potential in David's business, so he offers his expertise to help make it a success. I really think you have something here, David. You just, just need some help. You need a lot of help. Okay. Um, well, uh, then yes, I am open to entertaining your investment offer. And just like that, David ends up with the partner he never knew he needed, in business and in life. Also, we're just gonna say it, Patrick's confidence about his ability to secure those grants is super hot. Um, and you do know that if the grant money doesn't come through, then I won't. Oh, I'm gonna there. get the money. Okay. Number eight, David's amazing inability to compromise. Point is, these are a staple of the store up there at the cash. People come to the cash expecting the lip balm. Mm. I just wish that I had been consulted before they were moved. David, you move things without consulting me all the time, like the brooms. Flexibility is a vital quality when it comes to relationships. Is this a quality we'd say David Rose has in spades? Um... And I compromise all the time. <laughs> Throughout this entire episode, Stevie, and in particular Patrick, both seem to be trolling David and teaching him a lesson in compromise. The end result of this, however, is a spontaneous diatribe where David lets loose his very strong opinions on what is correct and what is not correct, whether it's plunger placement or rugged footwear. These mountaineering shoes that my boyfriend is wearing looking like Oprah on a Thanksgiving Day hike. Incorrect. I'm sorry, what did you just say? But his accidental admission that he thinks of Patrick as his boyfriend is signal enough for Stevie to hightail it out of there, to leave the happy couple alone to commemorate this relationship milestone with some smirks and a kiss. We'll do what we have to do. Number seven, David's oopsie daisy. How they made a wedding the bed storyline romantic, we'll never know. David wakes up in a puddle next to Patrick and is mortified to realize that his nighttime enuresis has made a comeback. David, there is absolutely nothing to be ashamed of, okay? And look, I found this blanket that I thought I had lost in the laundry room, so you've actually done me a favor. Mother Moira is able to shed some light on the subject for Patrick and even somehow turns it into a compliment for him. David's nocturnal enuresis used to only happen when he went to bed all juiced up with excited anticipation about something. Christmas, birthdays, the Ides of March. 
And now it seems your impending nuptials has opened the floodgates. While David is mortified by the entire ordeal, Patrick calmly and patiently deals with the whole situation, without judgment and with both a mouth guard and a nose thing. This is my nose thing, and it just helps me breathe better. I have never been more attracted to you. Same. As showrunner, episode writer, and David actor Dan Levy has said, he was trying to find a moment that would cement this relationship. This is definitely unexpected, but also a very real way to bring these two characters even closer. Number 6. The House Since minute one of their time in the titular town, the Roses have been desperate for a way back to their glamorous, shallow lives. So I take it you didn't like the house. What house? What? What house? Patrick may have been looking at a house for the two of you. But life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. And while they did ultimately find a way out, they also put down roots that, in some cases, run deeper than their connection to the past. After the fourth time that we drove by it and you commented that it reminded you of uh, Kate Winslet's cottage. cottage from the holiday. I just knocked on the door and asked them to call me if they ever decided to sell. David is trying to convince Patrick to be excited about New York, but all along, Patrick has quietly been planning their future. I felt like I owed it to Patrick to at least see the place where he wanted us to spend the rest of our lives. While it seems like David has a tough decision to make, the choice to stay in Schitt's Creek is actually incredibly simple. I just don't think I'm finished with this place. That is a sentence we never expected any of them to say. Least of all, David. But life never looks quite how you expected it, does it? Number five. First I Love You and You're My Mariah Carey. Even though everything inside us is telling us to protect ourselves, when you've got it, don't let it go. Every member of the Rose family goes through a significant transformation during their time in Schitt's Creek, and this is when David finally opens himself up to happiness. Patrick comments on how brave Alexis was for admitting her feelings to Ted, and he decides to add to David's distress by doing the same. And I don't want to add more stress to your day, but I love you. Worse, he invokes Queen Mariah herself in his declaration of love. You're my Mariah Carey. Wait, that compliment could bring me to tears? But I'm not gonna let it. It may take David much of the episode, but ultimately, in giving advice to Ted about his situation with Alexis, David comes to his own realization that what he and Patrick have is real. I love you. At that point, saying I love you is no longer hard for him. Although, remembering T still is. Well, good to know some things never change. Number four, their first date and first kiss. Dare we try the uh, deep fried mozzarella stick platter? Mmm. They do a lovely wine pairing with that, so. Moderately edible food? Check. Witty banter? Check. Third wheel? Sorry, I'm late. Is everybody here or are other people coming? Check. Patrick and David's first date starts with the birthday boy unsure that his partner is even into him. But business major and straight leg mid-range denim notwithstanding, Patrick gifts David with a sweetly sentimental present that proves he's not only interested, Patrick really sees David. Oh, it's just the, um, the receipt from our first sale at the store. Um, this is not nothing. Stevie drops an approval thumbs up and leaves, letting the couple to be happily dine on their freezer burned mozzarella sticks. Their car conversation is where we really get to see how good Patrick can be for David. He's open and earnest, but he won't let David get away with anything. And I'm so glad you did, Patrick, because you really helped to turn it into the success that it is. Mmm, a bold claim. Of course, without David, they may never have had their first kiss. So we'd say these partners balance each other out perfectly. Good night, David. Good night, Patrick. Number three, the proposal. I was picturing us like on a charming park bench in the middle of a private English garden. Like David, you have to stop watching Notting Hill. It's not helpful for our relationship. Okay. Speak for yourself. The words David Rose and hike had likely never been uttered in the same sentence before this moment. But as David and the rest of the Rose family have learned, if you open yourself up to new experiences, something beautiful might be waiting for you. And no, we're not just talking about the view. Okay, the hike itself is a bit of a disaster. David is disgruntled about the physical activity and Patrick gets stabbed in the foot. I love that you've done this for us and I think you look very dashing in your hiking clothes. It's just a long way to go for some cheese. Then let's turn around, David, because honestly, I can't. Ah! But seeing David's growth as he takes care of and even carries the injured Patrick is such a great payoff. When the moment finally comes that Patrick gets down on one knee and pops the question, we are as overcome as David. I know. Here he is. The love of my life. 
standing in front of me. And this just felt like the perfect place to ask you to marry me. Also, Solid Rings choice. Are you sure? <laughs> Easiest decision of my life. <laughs> Number two, their wedding. Rain on one's wedding day isn't quite as ironic as Alanis might think, but it can definitely put a damper on an outdoor ceremony. As per usual, Patrick swoops in to save the day, while David indulges in some much-needed rest, relaxation, and more. I didn't pay for a happy ending, I paid for a massage. He gave you a happy ending? On our wedding day? I thought you wanted that. But when the drama's finally set aside, the town comes together to give the happy couple the day of their dreams. You're simply the best. Oh, oh, better than all the rest. The town hall is bedecked with flowers. The Jazzagals sing. Moira is a vision. But ultimately, it all comes down to the vows. Patrick allows Mariah Carey's words to speak for him, while David lets go of the past and jumps into this marriage with his whole heart. No way you're never gonna shake me. Ooh, darling, cause you'll always be my baby. After everything these characters have been through, it's so fulfilling to see them get their happy ending. Patrick Brewer, you are my happy ending. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some cute honorable mentions. There is a good chance I didn't wire that properly, so that's why I also got the insurance that you forgot to get. Okay. Um, there's only so much that I can do in a day, so. I love you, and I really appreciate what you were trying to do for me, but I feel no need to meet up with other guys right now. Okay, I mean, if that's what you want, then I guess I'm, I'm fine with it. I mean, yeah. I'm easy either way. Oh. David, I've spent most of my life not knowing what right was supposed to feel like, and then I met you, and everything changed. You make me feel right, David. That is quite possibly one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard anyone say, um, outside of the Downton Christmas special. I love our relationship. I love it when you order me pizza. I love it when you use words like inventory. I even love those stupid rubber things you put on your fingers because you think they flip the pages faster. I wonder what would have happened if we'd met in high school. Mm -hmm. Well, unless you were into candy ravers with asymmetrical haircuts and a lot of pacifier necklaces, I think our paths crossed at the right time. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, simply the best. I would like to dedicate this song to a very special someone in my life. David Rose. Okay. There he is. Right there, that's him. If David Rose is your spirit animal, you're uncomfortable with genuine emotion and public displays of affection. But even the most cynical among us would melt if serenaded this beautifully. Patrick plans an open mic night to make Rose Apothecary feel more welcoming. Something David feels is less cute and more ew. Even worse, David's butter-voiced beau hosts and performs at the event. And it can't be wrong. Take my heart and make it strong, babe. Cause you're simply the best. But David and Moira actually are visibly moved by the concert, and it becomes clear that while they are in a room full of Schitt's Creek residents, Patrick is singing to him and only him. This song not only comes back later in David's epic apology lip sync, but also at their wedding. So it's hard not to look at these two and think they're simply the best. Better than anyone, anyone I've ever met. Oh, you're the best. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.